La Fondazione Costituzione Schneider ha il piacere di presentare il nuovo lavoro di Parastur Polar, è un artista iraniana, tedesca iraniana, e borsista nel mio sede dell'Accademia di Milano Massimo. Il lavoro del Parastur si divide in tre parti, di cui la prima parte è una presentazione di 31 video artisti che ha selezionato lei stessa su di artisti Teheran, sull'Iran, dove si ha una immagine nuova, una immagine non, non politicizzata della situazione che si trova ora in Iran, ma si ha eh, un'immagine che sono persone come noi, ragazzi come noi, artisti come noi, non come me personalmente, ma come gli artisti che noi presentiamo di solito in fondazione. E, lei, dopo aver fatto questa selezione di questi 31 artisti, presenta un lavoro suo, che è un'installazione site specific, e un video arte, dove rappresenta delle torture, eh, però ehm, drammatizzandole con il colore rosa, de, 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 delle figure come fossero i vasi, i vasi greci o anche proprio l'arte persiana con tutti i famosi segni persiani che sono molto riconoscibili nel mondo anche occidentale. When you decided to make the artist? Um, after the revolution in Iran, um, I was finished with my uh, high school and then um, wanted to start to study in the university. But um, the universities uh, were closed because of the cultural revolution. Uh, the fundamentalists uh, had seized the power. They uh, had closed uh, the universities to some kind of uh, Islamization of them. So, um, in this time I started to go to, uh, to learn drawing uh, and painting and step by step it became more and more important in my life. And um, two years later, after the um, universities were opened, I decided to um, to go to the um, art academy as I did and have um, studied there for uh, about five years and after that I um, left Iran, immigrated in Germany and then uh, studied there postgraduate uh, uh, in art and um, So it became uh, the most important part of my life. So, you live and work in Germany. Mm -hmm. Last year, you have been scholarship at Villa Massimo in Rome. Have you noticed the particular difference between Italian and German art system? Um, yes, as you said, I have lived here in Rome for one year last year, 2006. Uh, it was a wonderful opportunity to, for me to, to uh, uh, get um, a little bit uh, to know Rome as a city, but also the art scene of the, this city. Um, I think one of the differences is that uh, the Italian artists don't become so much of support from their government as the German artists do, and it is a pity. Um, but here, maybe the galleries are, um, um, they support the artists, that is the only way. As I have been talking to some uh, Italian young artists, they um, have told me that if they want, for example, to stay for a longer time in abroad, and that is very important for artists' life, um, they have to manage it somehow themselves. They don't become really support from the government, some kind of scholarship as Villa Massimo, for example. And um, so that is one difference that I uh, saw. But, um, you know, there is an um, art scene all over the world uh, that, that is some kind of a big family. They look, they look the same. <laughs> It is equal if you uh, go to a, 
opening in Bombay or Tokyo or Rome or in uh, Germany in a city, the art scene is somehow similar people. <laughs> Pink figures on black and white supports. Victims and killers have face and personal details. They are ghosts of a common violence in the world? Yes, it is a good description of my work. There, for me, the violence, the situation of the violence, uh, it is equal or if uh, the person is uh, the victim or the one uh, who is uh, doing the torture. Both of them become without personality. Both of them are somehow victim of a unhuman situation. And um, that is somehow uh, what I try to show in my work in different ways and um, two of the works that I'm showing here in uh, Fondazione Cerere um, are uh, works based on this, uh, this uh, theme. Do you believe in social and educational role of art? Um, you know, that is a very difficult question. Um, I don't believe that you can change things through art. I don't believe that. But I think that art could be, um, uh, could be a possibility to rethink, to bring the uh, people to think about their reactions, think about their... Uh, their um, being in the world. So that is the role of the, the uh, social and educational role of the art for me. Mm, but, um, but I don't think that art can change any um, social uh, situation. Which cultural references have your painting? Um, I think coming from Iran um, and growing up there and going to a university there as well, uh, my work has um, got a lot with uh, the Oriental Iranian culture, my background. Uh, as many people tell me that uh, Sometimes my drawings remind them of the old uh, Iranian uh, Persian miniatures. Uh, but uh, also uh, living and working for a long time in the European context uh, impacted my work very much. So I hope that as my life, my work is also a mixture of uh, boat influences.